My name is Calvin Stewart. I was born here in Prescott in 1930 and uh, grew up on the family ranch at Kirkland, which is 27 or 25 miles rather west of, of the town of Prescott here. And uh, I've been here off and on all, all the rest of my life and I'm now retired. <laughs> and uh, have spent many, many days in the rodeo arena here. And as much as my father, Mike Stewart, who was world champion bucking horse rider in 1926, seven and eight, and uh, won the Covented Diamond belt buckle here in 28 and 29. He had to win it two years in a row, which was 28 and 29. And uh, we have it in the family record that that three of my relatives, my mother's uncle on the Carter's family, were contestants in the first rodeo held here in 1888. It has driven the roots of, of my rodeo uh, connection very deep in, in the area. And I'm very, very proud of that. And, and the, uh, the fact that it is now in the, in the capable hands of a lifelong friend of the Trujillo family. And uh, JC, we watched him grow up, watched him ride. And uh, he and my son are great friends. And he is also now a part of, of, of our family, JC, because my son married his daughter. So we're extremely uh, proud of that fact. I became quite active here in my early teen, teenage years and on into adulthood. But uh, I think one of the most comical things that I observed here, not only as an as a observer, but also as a contestant, I'm gonna say it was 1940 and the rodeo was going on and they had gathered a large crowd in front of the stands as it is here today. And uh, some of the contestants or whoever decided to have a dice, a dice game. And so they started shooting dice. And uh, first one, then the other would, would back out and others would take a play. But the crowd gathered until it actually stopped the rodeo. There were so many people gathered watching the dice game and the exchange of hundreds of dollars that, and as I recall, that's about the most comical thing that, that happened here at the uh, Prescott Frontier Days. As a young man growing up here and raising my family here, I've always felt that there were, instead of a professional feeling, it was more of a family group feeling from the citizens of the town, of the community of Prescott and the surrounding areas. It's just a grand feeling when it comes time to, to, to go to the rodeo in Prescott. And I've heard several comments as, as uh, the years have gone by from contestants. If you want to be any place on the 4th of July, make it Prescott. And that's always made me feel like, uh, or given me a real proud feeling.